Hey everybody, it's Miss Kaylee, teaching artist with CCT. Today in this video, we're going to be doing a project for Father's Day. We're going to be making a book that we can fill with all the reasons that we love our dad or other father figures in our lives. So first, let me tell you what supplies you'll need. You're going to need a plain piece of computer paper. You'll need a piece of colored paper for the cover. You need some tape, a pair of scissors, a stapler, and then, depending on what kind of illustration style you want to have, you can either grab some markers or other, other coloring utensils, or you can grab some paper and do a collage style, which I'll also show you an example of that. Step one is we're going to need to make the inside pages of our book. I'm going to show you two different ways to fold the pages. For both of them, you're going to need to fold your paper on these lines that I've created. So I'm going to go show you how to do that. First, you're going to fold your paper down in half like this. Make sure to crease it nice and good. Then you're going to open it back up and you're going to fold it in half the other way, like this. You're going to open it one more time and you're going to fold the edges into the center line like that on both sides. That should give you all your creases. Now, you're going to want to go over those creases and fold it the other way so that the creases are going in both directions. So now that my paper's all folded, we're going to make some cuts. So go ahead and grab your scissors. And for our first one, you're going to cut right in that middle section. Now this can be a little tricky, so I'm going to show you a tip on how to do it. You're going to fold your paper back in half this way, and then you have easy access just to cut down that line, cut right on the crease, but as you can see, I didn't cut all the way. I only cut through those first two lines. Then you'll have something that looks like this. Once you have that, you're gonna fold it in half this way. And you're gonna put, it's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna fold it this way so that it kinda looks like this. And then you're going to fold all of the pages down and you have a little book. Now, for the other way, you're going to take your paper and you're going to cut all along this center fold line. So that way, you'll have two strips like this. One, two. For this step, you're going to tape your two pieces together right at that crease there. want to tape both sides so that it's extra strong. And now I'm going to take this long piece of paper and fold along the crease, creases, making sure that it goes every other way. That way it's kind of like an accordion. Make sure all your creases are nice and strong. And there you have your second book. This book, instead of going page by page, you can open up into one long page. The next step is to make a cover for our book. This is where your colored piece of paper comes in handy. If you don't have a colored piece of paper, that's okay. You can use regular paper and color it in. This paper is also a little bit thicker, which will help keep our book sturdy and strong. But again, if you don't have thicker paper, regular paper will, will work just fine. So to get the right size for our cover, we're gonna fold this page in half as well. Then you're gonna fold it in half the other way. Then you're going to cut on the folds you just made. 
Now you should have a rectangle about this big. You're gonna fold it one more time in half like this. Now, for a book that looks like this, you're just gonna take the cover and put it right on like that. Then you can staple along the inside edge, go to the very middle, add two staples, and then your book has a lovely cover. For our other type of book, you're gonna take that piece of colored paper and you're gonna do the same thing. You'll fold it in half this way. But this time, you'll cut along that crease that you've just made. Then you'll take your two pieces of paper and you'll glue one to the back side of this, right here, and you'll glue one to the front part of it, one on either end. So now you have a book like this that comes open like this. Now that our book is constructed, it's time to decide what to put on the inside that will tell our dads how much we love them. You can use both writing and illustrations to fill the pages of your book. You could write a story about a time that you hung out with your dad or a time that he helped you with something, or you could write him a poem or just a list of reasons why you love him. If you need some help writing, I'm gonna put up a poem that I'm gonna use that you can fill in the blanks for yourself. Once you've added some writing, it's time to add some illustrations. You can just use your markers and draw pictures if you'd like, or I'm gonna show you a way to use paper scraps to make some fun collaged pictures. This first page of my book says, I love you when you make me laugh and when we cook together. So for my illustration, I'm going to make a picture of a cooking pot. I'm gonna use some paper scraps to do that. You can find paper scraps in some magazines. You could use different um, colored pieces of paper, whatever you find around your house. Ooh, here are some spices, that would be perfect. Me and my dad love to make soup together. So I made a little picture of a soup pot and some of the things that we like to put in our soup. Once you've finished all of the inside illustrations, it's time to decorate the cover of your book. For my cover, I'm going to be making a collaged portrait of my dad. You can do the same if you want. So I've started to gather the pieces here. Got a head to start with.
and I'll start to add some of his features like his ears. nose, eyes and mouth, Then I'm going to add some hair and a beard as well. Once you've got your cover all decorated, your book is complete. You can go ahead and give it to your dad and tell him how much you love him. You can also use this method to create other books, maybe for somebody else in your life or just to tell your own stories and make up your own stories. We'd love to see what you're creating. Please send us a picture or a video at CCT. And if you're interested in making other things or doing other activities, check out our other videos on our YouTube page. Thanks so much and happy Father's Day, everybody.